One of the most underrated dangers when it comes to severe weather is actually flooding. In fact, when it comes to all of the major things that you think of in a severe weather scenario, flooding ends up being the most deadly. So here's some information that you need to know. Six inches of water, all it takes to sweep you off your feet. You up that to a foot and now you're moving a small car. 18 inches of water that could move a truck or an SUV. So it takes surprisingly little water to cause some big impacts across the region. Of course, when it comes to flooding, there are multiple different kinds and there are different alerts that come along with those. If we're expecting just minor flooding, areas that usually see ponding water, areas that, well, you're kind of used to water collecting, that's where we would likely see a flood advisory issued. Minor flooding, not expected to be a major threat to life or property. From there, we upgrade to what's called an aerial flood warning. This is life or property threatening flooding, but it's going to happen gradually. We're talking greater than six hours of time for these flood waters to come up. So you'll have time to respond and take appropriate action. The more dangerous type of flooding is related to this. It kind of impacts the same areas, areas that were not expected to usually get flooding. It's flash flooding. This is life or property threatening flooding that happens rapidly. This could be on the order of minutes to just a few hours. When you have a flash flood warning come out, these are the types of alerts that you need to respond to immediately as situations could change very rapidly and become dangerous very quickly. The last type of flood alert actually has to deal with river flooding. That's where the just standard flood warning comes into place. Again, this impacts waterways, streams, rivers, anything like that. When those rise up out of their banks from prolonged rainfall, that's when you could have a flood warning issued. And of course, you may have to move to higher ground. Along the lines of flooding, we have another thing to be concerned about. That is hydroplane. The car in red there losing traction on the wet roads. The car in blue doing a little bit better. There are several reasons we could see this type of situation happen, including possibility of excessive speed on wet roads, low tread depth on your tires, deeper water ponding on the roads. That's when it typically happens or too high or too low tire pressure. All of those can be factors in terms of causing a car to hydroplane. Larger tire width could also contribute as a factor. We'll leave you with this, some flood need to know safety tips. The saying, turn around, don't drown. If you are under a flood warning and you're instructed to do so, make sure you move to higher ground, especially those river and flash flood warnings. And of course, stay connected throughout the event. That's how you'll know the latest updates as soon as they're issued.